the fundamentals to physical health is understanding biomechanics or some people call it biomotor skills these are vital to survival and they include everything from balance strength coordination endurance and flexibility as well developing these biomotor skills will help you to improve in your personal health and your level of achieving your weight loss as well the cool thing about biomotor skills is they're all intertwined with each other so when you learn one or you strengthen one it helps to strengthen the other as well for example by you just walking you help increase endurance but at the same time it will build on muscle strength overall strength as well that's a cool thing these skills are all part of human fitness and well-being so what i will suggest is start off using an activity doing an activity that you enjoy is it walking is it riding a bike what is the activity you enjoy choose that first as a means to continue learning these bio skills because when you improve in one you'll help improve in all the others as well it will be balance flexibility endurance etc etc okay the cool thing is this when it comes to weight loss it's good to take that same activity that will, that you enjoy to help with these motor skills at the same time you're taking that same activity to start to build around your weight loss goals first is mapping out your weight loss goals or what it is why you want to achieve it that kind of thing so what is your weight loss goal so building activities around your specific weight loss goals and overall health will help you achieve it easier faster than just taking a cookie cutter program and trying it to see if it'll work for you okay over the next few minutes i'll be showing you simple but effective movement that you will do in the comfort of your home that can help you achieve all those bio motor skills that you need to succeed when it comes to your weight loss goals so if you're ready come and join me let's get into it are you ready let's jog in the spot let's get the blood circulating warming up the muscles let's put one minute on the clock The cool thing is this, this entire workout is all body weight. So we just warm up the body and now we're gonna stretch from the head, go down. Are you ready? Turn the head side to side, loosen up the muscles in the neck. So blood could circulate to the brain much more easily. And now we will lean your ear to touch your shoulder side to side. now we'll bring the head 
going towards the chest and back center. Then we'll push it back as far as we can and then bring it back center and repeat this process for approximately 10 times. Okay, now we will just rotate the shoulders moving forward. You can keep the hands on the hips or you can keep it at the side. We start in first forward motion. We will repeat that for 10 times and then we will change the direction and do it backwards. And the next exercise is simple. You reach from side to side, like you're attempting to touch someone. You reach, twist and reach. Repeat this for approximately 10 times. Next exercise, we rotate the hips from side to side, moving it back, sideways, forward, and then back again. So if you're ready, let's begin. Finish on one side, reverse it, try it in the next side, different direction. So the next exercise, we will rotate the knees. Loosen up the knees, getting it ready, for a good, good workout. So we'll begin on any side of your choice, just rotating it back and forth for approximately 10 times. The whole goal is to get in your body primed and ready for losing weight. So the next exercise is spinning or turning your ankles and loosen up those joints and getting the blood circulating down in that lower part of your body as well. So if you're ready, let's begin. Repeat this motion as much as you like. I recommend 10 times in both direction. The next exercise, we'll be focusing more on the hips. We'll lift the feet up and rotating it. But knees tall. And moving it outward. Let's begin. After we finish approximately 10 repetitions, bring in your hips from inside to outside. We will also do 10 repetitions, bringing it 
from outside to inside, rotating your hips. And when we are done rotating the hips, both inside, outside, and outside, inside, we repeat the same motion on the next side as well. was great let's take a 30 seconds break Well, this next exercise, we have seen it many times amongst athletes and different professionals online. This is an exercise that helps stretch your inner tides and helps to just relax those muscles and getting, our goal is to get more blood circulating through different parts of our body that it was getting problems to maybe in the past. We are loosening up those joints and we repeat this exercise on both sides, pulsating for approximately 10 times just to get the body and the muscle loosen up. All these will help to get rid of toxin, getting more oxygen to different parts of the body, helping with healing and overall better quality of life as well. This next exercise is simple. It's just touching your toes. So what we'll do is we'll put your heels together and your toes apart. Again, the goal is to go as far as you can, attempting to touch your toes without bending the knees. That's it. We have just completed a mobility and flexibility movement drill, vital to weight loss. Okay, we had a lot of fun. I know you might be even building up a little sweat here and there. These movements help with blood circulation, getting rid of toxin, preparing your body to lose those weight what i will suggest is trying these movements for five minutes 10 minutes even 15 minutes out of the day to help you achieving those quests that goal you have so try it out three minutes a day if you don't have much time five or three minutes a day is all okay two minutes as well since you get it in and spread it across three days out of the week four days out of the week create a nice balance put it in when you see it's best for you more the merrier so go ahead try it out and keep in touch tell me how it's working for you